Metamorphic Rocks by Kate O'Donnell. Metamorphic rocks are the densest rocks on Earth. They form deep underground within the Earth's crust, where intense heat and pressure transform sedimentary and igneous rocks into metamorphic rocks. The temperature of Earth's crust increases as it gets closer to the mantle. The mantle is heated by the outer core. Rock heated by the high temperatures of the core below the mantle slowly rises to the top of the mantle. While the inner core is a blazing 7,000 degrees Celsius, the mantle is only 900 degrees Celsius. Of course, 900 degrees Celsius is hot enough to melt the rocks of the crust that come near the mantle. Temperature and pressure are also high where tectonic plates meet. As a result, metamorphic rocks form both deep underground and at tectonic plate boundaries. The heat and pressure where metamorphic rocks form squeeze minerals closer together transforming small crystals into larger crystals. Heat and pressure can also change the chemical composition of minerals. For example, the sedimentary rock shale, shale is full of tiny quartz crystals. As the metamor rock metamorphoses, the quartz crystals become mica or garnet. When the pressure forming metamorphic rock all comes from the same direction, foliated metamorphic rock forms. Because the pressure was all pushing in the same direction, the minerals in foliated metamorphic rocks line up in layers or bands perpendicularly to the direction of the pressure. For example, under direct pressure, granite becomes gneiss, a foliated metamorphic rock with bonds of the minerals quartz, feldspar, and mica. Non-foliated metamorphic rocks form when pressure comes from every direction and is not as intense as the uniform pressure that forms foliated rocks. For example, the sedimentary rock limestone becomes the non-foliated metamorphic rock marble. If metamorphic rock is pushed too close to the mantle, it will melt and become magma that will become igneous rock when it cools. If metamorphic rock reaches the surface of the earth, weathering will turn the rock into smaller pieces called sediments that will become sedimentary rock. The rock cycle explains how rocks change form as they move through the environment. The end.